If there weren't enough reasons for LSU fans to hate Alabama, the Tigers' no-show in Tuscaloosa added another. And what are we here for but to add fuel to the fire? Come on, Tigers, let's push, push, push through another show. Up next. Welcome to Talking Tigers, I'm Jim Derry. While there weren't many positives to come from Saturday's 31-16 loss to Alabama, there certainly is one. This thing ain't over. While it should go without saying the Tigers would have rather been on the winning side of things, controlling their own destiny down the stretch, we know in the crazy world of college football, second chances often are granted. Hell, Les Miles thrives in them. Well, let's hear what the coach had to say Monday after getting a couple nights sleep. We, uh, we didn't play our best. We, our players and coaches know it. Uh, credit Alabama, they uh, played very well. And uh, the, uh, the, the key piece for us is, is to recognize that, uh, that it's a 48 hours, whether we won that game or whether we lost, it's a 48 hour window. And we're going to watch that thing today and kind of put it behind us and, and, and go from there. Uh, still a lot of football to play. And uh, to let that game define us is certainly not something that uh, I'm going to let happen. The, uh, so, improve and move on. Speaking of good old Les, it seems amazing how many people are quick to blast him because he had trouble with Alabama. Well, who hasn't? Truth is, year after year, Les Miles gets more players to the NFL than anyone else. And this team? Well, let's take a look at the breakdown and the experience in this one clearly paid off for Alabama and Nick Saban. On offense, LSU has eight freshmen and sophomores starting or regularly playing out of 13 while Alabama has eight juniors and seniors. On defense, the Tide has eight seniors as compared to only two for LSU. Well, ahead for the Tigers, who dropped to ninth in the Associated Press Bowl and can expect a similar number later Tuesday when the college football playoff rankings come out, it's really a simple scenario. They need to defeat Arkansas, Ole Miss, and Texas A&M and hope Alabama loses to either Mississippi State this weekend or Auburn on the last Saturday of November. If that happens, LSU would find itself in the SEC title game against Florida with, with a likely bid in the playoffs on the line. Well, for today's extra point, let's talk about Leonard Fournette. Although he arguably had his worst game as a Tiger on Saturday, rushing for 31 yards on 19 carries, he said it best in a tweet following the game. He said, that one game don't define the team or me. Like I always said, God, you never made one mistake. Watch the shake back. God certainly didn't make a mistake when making Fournette. And Monday, his pledge to help the people of South Carolina paid off when his game jersey worn during LSU's victory against the Gamecocks sold at an auction for $101,000, which was an all-time record for the game-used football jersey. It surpassed the $31,070 raked in for Frank Sinkwich, who won the Heisman Trophy while at Georgia in 1942. Well, we tried to get a hold of old Frank, but it seems that he passed away 25 years ago. And, well... It seems the time has passed on this show. Come back Friday when we chat with Ron Higgins about what to expect with a fired-up Arkansas team coming into Tiger Stadium on Saturday night. We'll see you then.